The venerable Bishop Fulton Sheen once told the story of a boy who just came from a catechism class. His father, who was an atheist, always prodded him and asked this little boy often to defend his faith, one that his mother had instilled deeply in him. On this day, the father asked his son, So what did you learn today in catechism? The boy answered, Well, I learned that God is our Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and that the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are all equal to each other. No, that's not possible, the father said. A father and a son cannot be equal to each other because a father is greater than his son. I have lived much longer than you, haven't I? And his son said, But you didn't become a father until I became a son. Today's gospel shows Jesus praising his father for revealing to the childlike what remains hidden to the learned. Our lives may be spent trying to unravel the mysteries of God, but to the child, it is a matter of faith. ourselves of our childishness and remain childlike. Paul in his letter to the Corinthians says, put an end to your childishness. Marge Fenelon, an award-winning Catholic author on Marian devotion and Catholic family life, distinguishes between childishness and childlikeness. People who are childish and immature demand their own way, have little or no self-control, can only see things from their own selfish or overly defensive perspective and lack rational judgment. We all have childish people in our lives and I hope can sense when we ourselves are being childish and alter our behavior. People who are childlike are mature yet uncomplicated, able to exercise self-control, compromise and find reasonable solutions, consider the other's point of view and are capable of rational judgment and responsible decisions. 
Spiritually speaking, childish people make demands on God, are convinced they know better than He does, and consistently rebel against His will. Childlike people see God as Father, are willing to follow His will, and trust in His wisdom. They realize their smallness before God and have an uncomplicated faith in Him. In Matthew 18 verses 1 to 5, Jesus warns us that truly I tell you, unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. The technological advancements of today have propagated a more complex lifestyle bordering on competition, individualism, and materialism that robs us of a childlike faith in God. People have drifted far from God and submerged themselves in and wallowed in their own personal miseries, leading them to a life of constant fear. This fear has spawned increasing levels of anxiety and depression, leading to higher rates of suicide. We need our childlike faith in God again. When we begin to have anxiety attacks as we face an unknown future, or when we have deep depression as we continue to stay in our past and dwell on its hurting memories, we need to pray for the grace from the Holy Spirit to lead us back to God. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, I live in a world that is constantly fearful. Grant me the grace from your Holy Spirit so that my childlike faith may return and I may slay the dragons of anxiety and depression in me. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.